Good day, all. Dr. Ragadith here at Buffalo Girl Physical Therapy. It's great to be here with you guys today. Okay, so on the program, we're going to talk about tennis elbow and then take you through some simple exercises to help address this condition. But before we get started, just a few precautionary tips. First, before beginning any exercise regime, make sure you check with your physician. Two, when progressing through any exercises, it's important to move in a slow and controlled manner so that your body can drive maximal benefit and you minimize the risk of injury. If at any time you experience any pain, make sure you stop and consult your physician. Pain is not a go signal, it's your body's way of saying that something's not right. And three, these exercises that we go over today are meant to be simply a guide, but not a substitute for individualized evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment by a licensed practitioner. Great, so now that we've covered those points, let's get started. Okay guys, we're back talking about tennis elbow, but before we jump into the exercises, uh, just some background points. Uh, tennis elbow is also known as lateral epicondylitis per its origin, uh, which is basically a degenerative inflammatory condition involving cumulative wear and tear of the extensor tendons that feed into the outer uh, bony attachment here called the lateral epicondyle, and through time can lead to pain and deteriorating day-to-day -day function. Okay, so some common contributing factors to tennis elbow would include uh, any activities that involve strong repetitive gripping, such as when lifting heavy objects, or in the backhand stroke in tennis, or also when uh, operating um, power machinery or power tools as seen with carpentry or, or heavy labor. So some other causative factors of tennis elbow as it relates to tennis per se include um, inappropriate racket grip size and string tension, poor uh, stroke mechanics, poor upper extremity conditioning, and over-reliance on the shoulder and elbow complex for power generation in the stroke rather than the trunk due to poor core muscle stability, which can thereby cause increased force attenuation to the upper extremity and cause problems in the elbow. Most common symptoms that we see in tennis elbow include, of course, pain, but also palpable tenderness in that outer bony attachment of the elbow, the lateral epicondo that we mentioned earlier, which can, of course, then lead to poor grip strength and diminished ability with upper extremity activities. Some conservative and viable treatment options for tennis elbow would include stretching and strengthening, ice and massage, as well as activity modification and bracing. Great, so now that we've covered those background points, let's get started with the exercises. Okay guys, now that we've covered the basic background points on tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis, let's get started with the exercises. So up first, we've got two great stretching exercises. One is for the forearm extensors that feed into that lateral epicondyle that we talked about, and the other one is for the forearm flexors that feed into the medial epicondyle and the medial side or the inner part of the elbow. We wanna make sure we've got good balance between both. So first let's go over the extensor stretch. So here, we're gonna position our arm about this high with our elbow straight, and from here, we're gonna gently, actively first flex the wrist, and then using our opposite hand, provide an additional stretch until we feel those extensor tendons nicely lengthen that feed into that lateral epicondyle that we talked about earlier. And hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. You can repeat that three times. Then from here, we can transition nicely into our flexor stretch that feed into the medial epicondyle right here. You're gonna extend the wrist this time, grab the fingers from the top like so, and just provide a gentle stretch this way. Now, conversely, we can also do an alternate version of the flexor stretch by turning our palm up and extending our wrist down like so, so the fingers are pointing down to the floor, grabbing the fingers over here and performing it this way. This is a slightly intensified version as this way. So that's the forearm extensor flexor stretch. Okay, so we're back with our exercises for tennis elbow. If you remember, we just finished doing the stretching exercises for both the extensors and the flexors. Now we're gonna get into some simple strengthening exercises that we can do. So ideally you wanna grab a light dumbbell, uh, probably no more than about two pounds. Um, you wanna be in a sitting position, uh, almost at the edge of a chair. If you have an armrest for chair, that would be ideal, if not, you can rest the forearm on your thigh, or if you have a plinth or a table, that would suffice as well. So here, we're gonna first work on strengthening the forearm extensor. So you're gonna position the forearm on the armrest, uh, and as you can see, I'm in a nice 90 degree angle over here. So I'm in a nice neutral position. From here, I'm gonna sit up nice and tall with my chest up and shoulder blades back, so I've got good posture over here. And then my uninvolved side is gonna provide a little stability over here to the uh, forearm, and you'll see why here in a second. So the first exercise, again, working the extensors of the forearm, you're going to start in a neutral wrist position, so my wrist is no, uh, neither like this nor like this, nice straight position, and then from here, slowly extend up, 
you can pause here for a few seconds and then slowly bring it back down to neutral. Now the reason why I have my hand over here is so that my forearm doesn't shoot up like this, so that I'm only isolating these muscles. So once again, take about four seconds to come up to this position, hold at the top, really squeeze these muscles over here, and then about four seconds to bring it back down to neutral. Just this motion like this, nice and slow. And I would say for this exercise, about two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps would be good. And that's the wrist extension strengthening exercise. Now, we can also work the flexors, those muscles that feed into the medial epicondyle that we discussed earlier in the stretching sequence. So here again, positioning the forearm again on the armrest, or you can do it on your thigh or on the plinth. This time your palm is facing the ceiling. And again, stabilizing the forearm over here, starting in a neutral wrist position, you're just going to flex up. Again, squeeze the flexors over here, hold it at the top for a few seconds, and then slowly bring it down, nice and controlled, neutral position. Come on up again, hold, and come back down. And just like the wrist extension, again, two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps would suffice as well. Okay, we're back with our strengthening sequence. Uh, so here we're gonna be working on gripping. Now there's a variety of different toys or tools that we can use. Uh, we've got some, some silly putty, what we call theraputty. Uh, you can use a tennis ball or a racket ball or a power gripper. You can even use uh, one of those squishy balls that you see on the checkout counter of a sporting goods store, what they call a stress ball. So uh, let's assume we use the silly putty. This is a little bit malleable. So simply working on gripping. Uh, because as we know, with tennis elbow, it affects the wrist extensors and the wrist extensors are heavily involved with gripping. So this is one exercise that we can do. So simply, you're going to take the silly putty or the thera putty and you're gonna grip. And here you wanna hold, kind of grip and hold for about five to 10 seconds. And in this case, because it forms in different shapes, you can kind of grip and then reform, squeeze, hold five to 10 seconds really work those extensors and even the flexors, you're getting both, and continue. So that would be using the putty. If you wanted to use a tennis ball, of course it's not gonna form like the putty. It's more of a rigid surface or a rigid object. Again, hold five to 10 seconds and continue. And then I'm sure you've seen this, a power gripper. So here, getting kind of the fingers involved over here. So squeezing and holding five to 10 seconds and then slowly letting it go. And once again, squeezing, nice contraction there and letting it go. And for an exercise like this, I again, holding the reps for about five to 10 seconds, anywhere from 10 to 20 repetitions. So that's the uh, gripping exercise. So that concludes our segment on tennis elbow. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And until next time, good day and good health.